Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Wayward Wonders. This is episode 6 and in this episode we're going to go take a look at this tree. As promised in the last episode, last episode was very boring and I apologize profusely for that. Let's just take a plunge. Yeah. Okay. Um, and let's approach this tree, which I'm assuming we have to climb up and there's going to be something inside. Um, see if there's any cropibs that we want here. Cropibs is apparently a word that I just made up. Uh, there seems to be something over there as well. What is that? Is that a temple? Is it a tree? Is it a bird? Is it a plane? I have no idea. Um, we might come back for the crops uh, later on. Uh, for now, yes, let's approach the tree. It's very nice. It's a very nice tree. Um, what am I looking for inside? Chests. I want it to be loaded full of chests, which are full of loot. Um, I can imagine, though, that something horrible is going to happen uh, when I get inside this tree. Um, hopefully I don't die, though. As long as I don't die, I think I'll be okay. Let's go in. Look at the Grand Canyon right there. It's so sexy. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. <laughs> okay. Let's start as I mean to go on. Yes, go. Up we go. Working my way inside a tree. Okay. I'm a bit derpy at this uh this vine stuff. Can I can I use that to get round? No? Am I not allowed to do that? I don't know how to get up the freaking tree. I'm just going to have to go up on a block, aren't I? I'm just going to have to block. I'm just going to have to build my way up. You know what? Screw this tree, man. There we go. See? Just need to get rid of that one block and then everything was... <sighs> well, this is going to be a double feature long episode. Yes, 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 yes. There we go. He's got the hang of it now. Okay, we're inside the tree. Oh, come on. Just... Oh, no, that's not what I wanted to... Oh, the vine's gone as well. Great. I'm breaking the tree. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's bad. It's wrong. It's against the rules. And I don't care. Uh, the best way to get inside this freaking thing. Okay, there's glowstone there. That's a good sign. Head. <sighs> Fire. Fire is not a good sign. Oh shit, there's blazes. God damn it, I knew there'd be something horrible up here. Okay, okay. Hmm. Where did it go? Okay, it's right there. Uh need to kinda of get up here. Oh, there she is. Hey little buddy. No thank you. I want no trouble. There's gonna be more than one, isn't there? Where are they coming from? Um, the issue that I have... Okay, I see the spawner. The issue that I have is that as soon as one of these starts to hit me... This, uh... This place is gonna start burning down, isn't it? Okay. Please say that was the only spawner. Please say that was the only spawner. Please. No, 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 you don't see me. No, 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 no. Do not, do not burn down this tree. No. No. Fucking hell. Okay, there he is down there. Uh... Where am I going? Where am I going? I think that was the only spawner. The problem is, there's no loot up here. Unless I have to actually get to the top. In which case, that's where I'm going.
I'm up here. I'm at the top. I'm at the top. I'm at the very top. Okay, there's another spawner. Approach. Destroy. Quickly. Okay, spawner down. Any more? No? Hang on, there's something blue. Is that... Okay, no, that's just the ground, I think. Yep. Just the ground. Oh, no, let's not fall down there. I hear you, Blazies. I hear you. <clears throat> Is there really no freaking loot up here? There has to be. Or maybe you do have to actually let the tree burn down. I don't really want to do that, though. It's a very pretty tree. I just want to make sure there are no more spawners. I appear to have got the spawners. Okay, I'm comfortable that I have the spawners. <clears throat> the only thing I'm not comfortable with is the amount of loot that's here. There is none. Surely not. Nothing? Not even a snack for the journey? Oh, shit. How did I miss that? Oh, is that silverfish? Okay, so that's not even a blaze spawner. Oh, I see another spawner as well. God damn it. Oh, no. God, no, that's not the spawner. That's an actual blaze. <clears throat> damn. Um. And there's zombies up here as well. I want to know the secrets of the tree. Oh, I shouldn't be using that. Uh, tell me your secrets, tree. Tell me your secrets. Um, confused. Okay, there's the blaze there. I don't see another one. I think that's the only blaze. <clears throat> if I can kill it, then the blaze problem is eradicated. Die! Die, son of a bitch! Die! Yes! 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 Shit! Where did that one come from? What the hell? There's more. Shitting hell. Oh, the tree's gonna go. The tree's going. Abandon ship. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Ah. All right, let's get over here to the desert. Let's watch this thing burn down. Hey, you can come at me if you want. Let's get a nice view of the tree. Oh, look at that on the Grand Canyon. Sad day, the tree decimated. The rain will extinguish. Whoa, with the weather. Weather, 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 weather. I mean, if any, if there was any loot up there now, it's surely burnt up. Um, the only thing I can think about is maybe in the trunk. I mean, seriously, was that it? Was that was that? The whole reason we did that thing for. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna take a look inside this thing. See if there's anything that we missed. A dungeon. Possibly. I can imagine not. 
No, there's nothing down here. Um, yeah. Well, bye tree. Sorry that I burnt you down. Well, it wasn't even my fault. It was the stupid blazes. I didn't even want to burn you down. But yeah. Okay, so I'm going to cut away and come back when we're back at the monument. And uh, I should have enough stuff to uh, enchant some tools, maybe some armor. So I'll see you then. Okay, so I'm back at the monument, and uh, well, I've got as many bookshelves as I could possibly get. I have to keep waiting for the reeds to grow, which is taking a while. But I can enchant up to level 20. Um, a note as well, I don't know if it's the texture pack that I'm using, or if it's this map, but it's not showing up the new enchanting system, so like it's showing one box instead of the other box for the lapis. Um, but you know, I can... I can uh, I can go up to 20 on the enchanting levels. Um, I have 13 diamonds, which will help. Um, what I need to do is drop off some of this stuff. And uh, I just need to basically go looking for um, some more books. Because I think that's going to be the best way to help myself out. Um, I'll grab all of those torches. I don't need these seeds. I don't need that. The bow... Uh, probably not needed either. Um, another thing that I also have is a horsey. Um, I'm a complete idiot. What the hell was I talking about when I was like, I need carrots to tame horses. You don't need carrots, you need apples. It's apples, horsey. It's apple. Um, the hell was going on there? <laughs> no idea. I've never actually tamed a horse in Minecraft before. This is my first one. So look, look at me. Look at me go. This is me. Um, if I find a name tag, I'll also name it. Um, but I want to head... Uh, do, 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 do. I want to head west. <clears throat> because I want to... I want to try and find another village. And I think if I can remember when me and anyone has played this, uh, we headed west ourselves. Oh, shit. And uh, we did end up finding villages this way. So that's kind of what I want to try and do. Oh, and that, I remember this as well. I remember it's the Upside Down Temple. It's the Dinner Bone Temple. This is interesting. We'll have to go check this out. Um, I don't know if we'll get all of it through. Like, we'll get all the way through it in this episode. I've also noticed that a lot of these uh, little mini uh, holes in the ground, they do have chests. I'm guessing Mondi, who created the map, like, he would go through. I have not seen that before. What the hell is this? Um. Okay, horsey, you stay here. I'm gonna go and approach. I have a feeling that I'm gonna be ambushed here. There's an ender chest. The soul altar. Okay, okay, what's this? Uh, the soul altar. Those that lost their lives by a pious, pious, pious. And do not die in vain. Their sacrifices, although not voluntarily, aid in the balance of the universe. Uh, the gods accept souls offered through pious, humble hands. Stand in the middle of the altar alone, and the gods may see fit to lift the souls from your body, ascending them to judgment. Killing one mob grants one soul. You can see how many souls you have stored by pressing tab. You lose all souls when you die. The altar requires a minimum of ten souls for a single offering. Oh, okay. So... Collect 250 souls. Uh, collect 250 soul roses and 25 soul books. Okay, make a garden. I don't know. Um, so if I press tab, I've collected 264 souls. So if I stand on this altar, I'm going to get something, right? What the hell? Whoa! Okay, it's, it's offering 10 at a time. Jesus Christ, that scared the crap out of me. Like a horsey over there. He's like, what's going on? Okay. Oh, I'm getting books. Oh, soul books. All souls have a story. Soul roses in memoriam. Oh, Christ. I don't even know what I'm getting here. I'm scared. Okay, I'm gonna step away now. Can I do that now? Is there anything in here? Whoa, okay, calm down. Right. So, what's with the... Oh, shit, I nearly 
died as well. Well, I nearly started to starve to death. I'm poisoned. So, soul book. What do I do with the soul book? What do I do with it? Did I did I read that bit? Uh, see how many souls. The altar requires a minimum of ten. Collect fifty soul roses and five soul books. So I've done that. Uh, so hang on, that's a side quest. Two hundred fifty. Collect a thousand. Oh, that's my phone. Uh, make a garden for your soul roses. Make a library for your soul books. Okay. Also, we have an ender chest here, um, which would be pretty useful to use. Um, although, I'll come back for that. Let's go check out... i got like five minutes left in this episode. I want to get started on the Dinnerbone Temple. Um, I'm not going to be able to take it down. Hang on, have I still got nausea? I got hunger, weakness, and mining fatigue for another six seconds, so that's okay. It's not that bad. Um, the Dinnerbone Temple's quite a difficult one. Oh, there's that black guy over there again, the black temple thing over there. Uh, I can't remember if I've been through that or not. Um, but let's go check out this. This is uh, a pretty trippy, if I'm honest. Oh, I haven't got the diamond sword with me. Um, looks like we're going in. <laughs> This way, we'll get loads of arrows, though, because there are a bunch of skeletons. But basically, I'm going to run in, I'm going to try and disable spawners as fast as I can, because they will come at us thick and fast. Get these guys. And then, uh, do, 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 do. let's try and get in here. I need my blocks. Here they come. See, so they will not hang around. Uh, let's... I make a little staircase up here. Uh, yeah. Maybe like there. And then there. Yep, plenty of the guys in there. Plenty of these guys. Okay. Let's try and survive long enough to kill these spawners. Destroy the spawners. Destroy the spawners. Destroy the spawners. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. Come on! Oh, shit. Oh, damn it. Okay, that didn't quite work. They will spawn very fast. Uh, let's block that off for now. Oh, crap. Uh, let's go here, and then like here. Can I get through that way? Is that going to be okay? I think that's another. Uh, that's a decent way through. Um, let's eat. So our regen is at least working. Run! There you go. So that's the spawners taken care of. Um, well, me and anyone has had a really hard time with this one last time because uh, we didn't realize that the spawners were inside. But this seems a lot nicer this time around. It seems pretty easily dealt with. Um, and then let's make our way up onto the roof. And there is a chest. It's a bone. Dinner bones, arrows, sharpness. See, this is exactly what we're talking about. This is what we need. Bones and dinner bone arrows. Uh, let's toss our original arrows so that we have these good ones. Because with sharpness four... That's going to be pretty damn useful. Um, yeah. Yeah, really happy with that. Now we can head down. Uh, and we could take the rest of these guys out, I guess. And that's probably going to wrap up the episode. I really didn't think I'd be able to get through it that quickly. Uh, oh, I missed. And of course, my bow has got flame on it already. So there you go. That's that's Dinnerbone's temple taken care of. I I left the horse behind. I'm an idiot. Um, there's where I wanted to go. There's the old uh, the village. Um, but I left the freaking horse behind. What sort of a person am I? It's dark as well, so I need to head back. So I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna get a horsey, and then head. Uh, well, I don't need to head back to the temple. I'm going to go back and sleep. i got to keep remembering to take my bed with me as well. Um, so, yeah. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, I will see you next time.